I think it's time we cast some villains in the DCU. First up, Brainiac. Mainly a Superman villain, he first appeared in Action Comics number 242 in July of 1958. Now we've seen him on TV, but it's time for a big screen debut, and I'm choosing Scott Atkins. Next up, Thal Sinestro. Sinestro first appeared in Green Lantern Volume 2 number 7 in August of 1961 and was played in the Green Lantern movie to perfection by Mark Strong, but I think Luke Evans would be a great recast. Finally, Zaz. Victor Zaz is a Batman villain who first appeared in Batman Shadow of the Bat number 1 in June of 1992, and the only thing crazier than Zaz is my pick of Michael Rosenbaum to portray him in the DCU. Come on, give him the Smallville Lex cut and he's perfect. We've already cast some heroes, so let's try something different. First up, Lana Condor. You may remember her for playing Jubilee in some of the X-Men movies, but for the DCU, I'm casting her as Cheshire. Jade Wynn first appeared in New Teen Titans Annual No. 2 in 1983 and has been a long-standing rival of the Teen Titans and occasional love interest of Roy Harper. I think the most dangerous woman alive would make a great addition to the DCU. Next up, and probably my most controversial fan cast yet, we'll see, Camilla Mendez's punchline. Alexis K first appeared in Batman number 89 in April of 2020 and is a college student who develops an unhealthy obsession with the Joker and plots to be his new sidekick and girlfriend. Camilla just looks the part. And I know, to a lot of folks she's just a Harley ripoff, but she feels different than me. And the thought of a James Gunn punchline v Harley in the future excites me. Usually for these fan casts I show the character then the actor, but I thought it's time to cast some more villains in the DCU. First up, the Riddler. Edward Nigla first appeared in Detective Comics number 140 in October of 1948 and has an obsessive compulsion to use puzzles and riddles to prove his intellectual superiority over Batman. He's been on the big screen before, but now it's time for a DCU fan cast, and I'm going with Ewan Mitchell from House of the Dragon. Next up, Mad Hatter. Jervis Tetch first appeared in Batman number 49, also in October of 1948, and invented mind control devices to manipulate his victims. He's been in numerous other media, but he's another Batman villain who needs a big screen debut. It's a long shot, but I picked Bill Skarsgård for this one. I hope you're all enjoying this series because... Casting more villains in the DCU. Samara Weaving. I know, everyone's been saying Catwoman, but I'm going against the grain and casting her as Poison Ivy. Pamela Isley first appeared in Batman number 181 in June of 1966. She's a botanist turned eco-terrorist with the ability to control plant life thanks to an elemental force known as the Green. I think Samara and Margot would wreak havoc in the DCU. Next up, Janelle Monet as the Gardener. She's been my pick ever since this character was introduced. Seriously, this pick plus this one equals the Gardener. It feels like we have another Sam Jackson Nick Fury on our hands. Bella Garden first appeared in Batman number 107 in April of 2021 and is another eco-terrorist who studied botany and genetics to create plant-animal hybrids. Almost felt like I had to pair these two together. Let us know your thoughts and picks as we continue 